I'm personally hearing from a variety of businesses that are struggling uh, for repayment. The deadline to pay back COVID business loans to the feds is coming up in a couple weeks. The Canada Emergency Business Account, or CBA, started in 2020 by the federal government. And it was financial relief offered to businesses negatively affected by the pandemic. Years later, some businesses are still struggling to get back on track and stakeholders want an extension to the loan repayment. It's all compounding issues for different parts across the country. So out in British Columbia, forest fires for perhaps Ontario, maybe on inflation's a little bit higher in Ontario. We're dealing with compounding issues across the country and every single area is dealing with their own challenges. According to the federal government, 125,000 businesses in Alberta were approved for SIBA loans up to $60,000. If small businesses that receive the loans pay it back by the January 18th deadline, they can be forgiven for up to $20,000 of what they borrowed. So somebody's paid back $30,000 and they need that extra 10,000 to pay off SIBA. So their friends don't have it based on inflation, the economy, all these different reasons. Their family doesn't have it, same thing. And they can't find a bank or a lender. So they've paid back as of today 75% of the loan. That $20,000 penalty, for lack of a better description, is going to really hit a lot of people hard. And the Alberta Hospitality Association says if an extension is not given, one in five restaurant operators will have to close some, if not all, of their doors. It's been tough. It's been very hard. Again, the, you know, the, the, the spike in inflation um, you know, on food costs um, have really, really hurt a lot of restaurants. You know, they can't just keep raising prices um, in a market right now where uh, guests are, you know, you know, struggling on their own. Michael Wood says two weeks before the SIBA payment deadline, stories are going to have to continue being shared about why the businesses are continuing to struggle. And the Alberta Hospitality Association's Ernie Sue says they've been hearing from members and businesses that they would really like an extension, if at all possible. Like that death by a thousand cuts, you've got the inflation on food costs, you have supply and change management, uh, supply chain management costs going up, labor costs have gone up. It's, you know, it's, it's just a tough time for this to be coming down the pipe. In Calgary, Danina Falkenberg, City News.